Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip. And we are doing a Passion of the Palette. And um, I know I'm trying to go through my older collection, but um, I'm a huge nerd geek if you know me. Um, if you've watched my channel long enough, huge. So I'm getting a kick out of The Mandalorian. <laughs> so when ColourPop came out with The Child, um, I had to get it because is the child not adorable? <laughs> so, and he's such an honorary little took us too. <laughs> so, this was a, a must investment. Uh, so, I can't really say I've been really good the last few months not really buying um, anything, kind of being on a um, no buy, low buy, more of a low buy because obviously I bought <laughs> um, this cute little guy. But, um,. <laughs> I am trying to be on a low buy. I do have over, way over 600 um, different palettes and that have five pans or more of eyeshadow. So um, I'm in the progress. Is that I really need to work on them, uh, work on some of these palettes that I have in my collection. And these, most of these have come into my life in the last three years. So if you know, I am a project panner. But I am not at the point where I'm on a no buy, no buy. I would call it a low buy. I mean, like, and the reason I call it a low buy is I haven't canceled um, my subscription boxes. <laughs> and if there's something like, you know, this one, which I really didn't need, but yeah, <laughs> because of my geekdom, um, I wanted it. And there's another one that I really want. Um, the uh, the the glam palette by uh Natasha Denona and uh so I'm trying to be good and hold out as long as I can but yeah so I'm working towards it um as long as I'm doing really good uh panning I I feel fine staying on a low buy yeah, you know, I'm not spending triple figures in makeup a month. <laughs> anyway, back to Passion of the Palette. We're going to play with the child. So I've already prepped my eyes and stuff. If you guys have not seen the palette, which, you know, it's been talked about a lot. <laughs> so, I'm really loving these olives right here. So I think I'm going to start with this one in my crease. And um, go from there and build it up. And instead of gold, which I know a lot of people really go into, I'm going to probably do the white or the silver for the sparkle. But we're going to start with, it's called Little Frog. <laughs> Which, if you know the child, he is a little carnival, carnivore. He's not a plant eater. He's like his father Yoda. This is just going on so... And usually with ColourPop, I don't usually have any problem with it really popping on there and going on. So I'm really liking where this is going. So if you guys didn't know, also, um, I am working towards hitting pan in a hundred, my, my journey to a hundred pans, because not just in shadows for the next year, but blushes, highlighters, bronzers, pressed powders. Mm. Mm. Just, you know, to put a dent in this. Now, if you guys have seen some of my um, 100 plus videos where I did, had like 100, I swatched 100 highlighters. Um, I can, and I still have more lipsticks. Oh my gosh, we won't even talk about that. So, for 2021, um, I'm really going to focus on looks and also focus on project panning 
using up, getting some love into my excessive collection. Hopefully also at the beginning of the new year you will also see um, the change. Uh, we are down to just painting the new makeup room which I am so excited. Okay, we're gonna do float your float your crib. Okay, because if you know her, uh, the child's little crib is floats. So, so we're just putting that in on top of little frog. But like I said, I, and I, oops, and I love greens. So I have um, those wonderful hazel eyes that change from blue to green to gold, hazel brown, whatever. They actually, it's a, someone once told me it's a, my eyes have a tri-color change. I didn't know there was tri-color change hazel eyes, but I guess there is. So, this is a fun, like, very dark and moody greens, so I'm really liking them. <laughs> okay. So then we're going to go in with Baby Face. And I'm just going to tap that puppy in this, in, like, and work it out. And I'm hoping to get more into the swing of things with my videos. With everything going on, we, you know, the country's had another spike with the, that. And so, it has caused, you know, some stress for people and stuff. I work with the public a lot. So, it does stress me you know to see you know that stress and stuff and all that okay where's my insta papa 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 actually let's do a little bit of brown just on the so i'm gonna go in there was a brown one right droid protocol i'm gonna sneeze <gasps> excuse me <laughs> Just playing just a little bit. But with this being my Thanksgiving edition of Passion of the Palette, I was like, let the nerd flow. And if you haven't noticed, I do have other um, Star Wars palettes. I almost said Star Trek. I don't have any Star Trek palettes. No one's come out with a Star Trek palette. Ugh. Someone needs to get on that. Ugh. That would be... Oh, I would be in heaven. Ugh. Let's have some Trekkie eyeshadows. So, um, with Star Wars, you know, the child is like the cuteness of uh, Star Wars this year, I would say. Um, you really can't deny that, uh, <laughs> if you've, uh, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen him everywhere this year. <laughs> okay. So, I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do sipping soup in the center. So, we're going to actually go with the green sparkle. I'm going in with what's called my Insta Pop. Um, shadow. 
But like I said, this is just one of those palettes. I, once I saw it was coming out, I, I couldn't say no. I just, I couldn't. <laughs> and, um, I know, like, some of my friends are like, oh, there's not really my colors and stuff. And there's palettes I've gotten that are probably not my colors, but I bought them anyway. <laughs> then in the inner corner, we're going to go with, with Precious Cargo. <laughs> Um, it's got that beautiful shimmer. Okay, so we're going to apply with it. I don't like applying stuff with my finger. And I think it's from being a makeup artist so long that you just don't touch client's face like this. I mean, even for my skincare stuff, I use these little palette knives to scoop things out. My lip bulb scrub, um, which a friend of mine has a thing that she does with her nails, and it's so cute. I just don't do it because I just, you know, bacteria and all that. Um, I try to keep all my stuff as sanitized as possible, so... So I don't do it that way. So this is my version, my look, my first look. I will probably do future looks with the child. Um, and I'm just really, I'm really enjoying this little guy. I really am. So, um... I hope you guys are enjoying Passion of the Palette. Uh, I'm having fun playing with um, my palettes and literally pulling them out and, and you know, and playing with each and every one of them. There is quite a few. <laughs> it will take, well, 52 weeks in a year roughly. I have over 600 palettes. <laughs> you do the math. So, this could be something that could go on really, really, really long. <laughs> but I also have stuff that's in projects that I'm trying to pan. Like I said, hit pan, use up, play with. So, it is a gentle work in progress. Just so, like I said, I can enjoy my palettes. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing the interesting collection of palettes also. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing my, finishing my eyes while we chat, but, um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I hope everybody's enjoying their Thanksgiving. I hope everybody gets to enjoy their holidays and their families and their friends during this time, because I know it's a difficult time, and, um, we need to remember to be able to support each other and just really value and treasure each other in this, because it is... Um, something that we are adjusting to. Hopefully, you know, the new year brings more progress and success towards it. And we just have to think positive thoughts about it. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, a wonderful holiday, and I will talk to you soon.